Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars. And I've been concerned some, for some time about communication with yeasts, which are another life form uh, that we have. And uh, today I successfully was able to, to speak with some yeasts and to distinguish the sound that they make amongst many um, voices in our bodies. They're, they're not too bright. Uh, they're like tiny little children. And uh, the, the, the rhythm of the voice that they have is, is like this. Da-da, 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 da-da. Da-da, 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 da-da. That rhythm will carry a simple message or that they all are apparently all speaking at once, uh, or at least some section of them are. Um, the the uh, height of the rhythm, the, um, the tone can be ex suddenly extremely, extremely high when we ingest something with sugar in it. Very, very high pitched and centered around the, the head. Um, then if we um, don't, if, if we decide not to eat much that sweets or sugars or um, car carbohydrates, simple carbohydrates that turn into sugars, then the sound that the yeasts make inside of the body, the field of the body, is much more like, um, I think it's called a tenor voice, kind of like a high, higher pitched male voice. Super high. When we eat sugar, it's it sounds almost like angels singing. It sounds like um, it's 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 beyond the normal range of hearing that kind of high pitched. So uh, I found out some code words that they are doing, prompted I think by the bacterial Marshall Martian bacterial colonists um, in our colon. In our large coal, and uh, and I asked them first. Okay, first I asked, "What kind of work do you do in this space station?" They all think the space station is like our body. They said, "We do that arithmetic thing, more like this. We do that arithmetic thing." And I thought about it, and then I thought, "I wonder." Uh, I wonder if this has to do with populations of how many people there are on Earth. Um, and so, um, then I heard the Martian bacteria, this is very wild, the Martian bacterial colonists say, we do that, they do that alabaster thing. They do that alabaster thing, a little bit disdainful. Now, I've heard this term alabaster quite a lot in the in the like subconscious jargon going on in my energy field and I thought it was other people's energy fields and it turns out now it has to do with the talk between the bacterial colonists of earth apparently and the yeasts and also it has to do with my diet choices I might add. So alabaster apparently means to the Martian bacterial colonists it's a slightly looking down upon them slightly derogatory term. Alabaster has to do with the color of yeasts. Mm. And it also has to do with their arithmetic thing that they do. And so yeasts, uh, when they encounter sugar in our bloodstream, they, um, they multiply. That's their arithmetic thing. And uh, they um, create their sense of euphoria that they have in multiplying um, resonates with the human uh, emotion that human beings feel when they feel sexual. And so uh, when they sing like that, then our physical body, it wants to replicate, it wants to have sex, and it starts up the samskaras. The samskaras that have to do with with sexuality is what we've been characterizing as the V hyphen 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 D hyphen 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 syndrome. Um, this is when um, this when when it has to do with sexuality, when it has to do with wanting to have sex. Um, so so it starts up that type of samskara 
or by arithmetic. It also means over and over again, so that sound is repeated over and over again. Um, in America, I would say then that the desire to, to have sex, often at a young age, and to continue to have sex uh, outside of the sacred bonds of marriage and so forth has to do with eating yeast, I mean, sorry, eating sugar and eating simple carbohydrates. Uh, and if we were to change our diet, then our lifestyle would change. Uh, also, I, I've heard that word alabaster referred to in another context. It has to do with killing people, assassination and killing people. And um, um, so uh, I think this may have to do with the fact that eating sugar can cause um, diabetes, and diabetes can kill people. So, um, so yeast could be thought of as having two contradictory functions in the human body. One, to, to cause people to want to replicate, to have sex, and the other, to, um, to change their metabolism so that they then um, dis disincorporate what they call, so that, so that their body passes on. So, uh, because of this, I think it's important to, to be very careful about diet. You know, we want to keep our yeast population well tailored to the needs that we have for it. So, they have this other, uh, uh, very clearly, they're using words and uh, sounds. They're just beginning to, to learn about talking. And so, they're hearing words and sounds and then somehow applying samskaric uh, things to their own um, situation. And, and it does apply, but it's a very circuitous form of logic. It's a sort of an emotional logic. So they can, And they repeat things over and over again themselves. They're, they're like that. That's how they talk. And so uh, when they say, M hyphen 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 D hyphen 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 will do that homosexual thing, they say it like that, Mm, mm will do that homosexual thing. Mm, mm will do that homosexual thing. What they mean by that is that that this person, this M da 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 D da 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 person, will be cutting down on the types of foods that cause the um, that are that are good for yeast population to multiply. See, so and so, what the result would be that he would be healthier, and uh, he wouldn't have like diabetes, and also he would not uh, feel the the Im impulse to to have sex as much. So that's what they mean by by homosexual thing. They don't really mean what they say. It's not. They don't mean that a person will. Um, will be M to M or F to F, what they mean is uh, that they will have less like samskaric repetition that causes um, that causes the type of samskaras that cause people to attract other people on the mental plane. I don't know if you've noticed this or like they call it uh, astral rape too. Um, that is the, the constant repetition of those of those words. Uh, those kinds of words. Um, I know there's more to it. I think that the yeast probably have to do with the predator-prey instinct um, as well as the Martians, and I'll keep you posted if I find out anything more about it. So, um, it has to do with the telepathic chatter, the internal subconscious or exobiological <laughs> um, telepathic chatter. It doesn't really have much to do with biology because you and I both know that um, that people eat, for instance, chocolate because they it makes them feel sexy. And that's a joke that people have. Chocolate has sugar in it, right? And that people um, and, and that people need to limit their sweets, or else they can develop a tendency towards diabetes. All right, so so that's it for the yeasts for the today. They are that alabaster thing that the that the Martian bacterial colonists uh, talk about. They do that, they do that arithmetic thing. They, they mostly spend their time increasing their numbers when they can, 
when the blood su the uh, nutrients in the blood supply permit it. And they also um, do that arithmetic thing on humankind. They cause us to want to to multiply more, and they also do that subtraction thing on humankind because eventually, if there's too many of them, they cause us to pass on. Okay, here's another thing. Um, apparently, the yeasts are repeating the phrase, you will die, and then they say my name, Alice Claggett, you will die. You will die, Alice Claggett, you will die. Like that, and I suppose they say whoever's name, and there it is. Not just my name, but whoever's name applies. And the, uh, apparently this is, this is a very simple thought process that comes up for them when they are um, around the yeast of another person who is doing drugs. It could be um, most likely, I think they mean recreational drugs. It might be pharmaceutical drugs, I don't know. It might be alcohol and other recreational drugs. That's all I'm getting right now. And uh, the, de the deal is that the, the yeasts, who are very simple thinking beings, they um, feel that, that drugs kill. I'm pretty sure they mean drugs kill them, not just people. And so I guess it has to do with um, when people are on drugs, they don't eat sugars and they don't get proper, you know, food. They don't care. And so the yeasts die, and so the yeasts are frightened of people who do drugs. And um, because they figure that if their person, their space station, they don't know space station, I don't think, if their person gets in touch with other people who are doing drugs, then both will do drugs, and then they those particular yeasts will die. And that's where I've been getting the threat of death regarding being around other people who are uh, either drinkers or possibly social drug users. Is my yeast repeating these, these samskaric, like fear of death things over and over again? It's what we call samskaras, but apparently there's an organism that's doing it. So... We may have samskaras, in fact, as they say in the ancient occult text, that are activated from lifetime to lifetime. But it seems to me that these can be um, curtailed and deleted through, as I said before, through eating foods that aren't particularly um, helpful to the yeast population in us. So that's one more thing. It has to do with... Uh, death threats, you will die, dum de dum naming the person, you will die. You will die, Joe Smith, you will die. It's sit in a kind of a sad middle tone. You see that the rhythm is exactly the same, but the emotional uh, like feel of it is not. Oh yes, another thing, um, it seems likely that when people are like addicted to drugs, that um, these samskaric um, tendencies rise to a crescendo because of the, the feeling of terror of the yeast population within them. And it could be that these subconscious feelings, what we call actually exobiological uh, uh, thought processes, um, influence addicts to kill, and that's why murder is associated with addiction. Um, so, uh, the, the people, the thing of it is, people who are addicted, their, their higher brain functions are numbed down and, and not so available to them. And so their, um, they're, uh, susceptible to acting out of the murmurings of the other, uh, species that are, that are cohabiting this this human terrain with us. So so as the mind dumbs down and the addict becomes more and more um, uh, uh, lulled to sleep mentally, the 
the noise of the yeast population ratchets up, this fear of killing, this you will die, you know, naming the person you will die, meaning that please stop being addicted, but it's taken in such a way that it, it, it's expressed outward through projection and, and, and other people are killed. So this leads me to the notion that um, violent behavior in, in uh, drug addicts, whether alcoholic or recreational drug addicts, uh, might be curtailed by seeing to the needs of the nutritional needs of the yeast population in their bodies. Here are some more weird code word signals from the yeast kingdom. Uh, when um, yeast population in a person uh, isn't getting the type of food, if there's a die-off, it's not getting you know the kind of sugary food. Um, it it broadcasts signals, uh, abandon hope. We the hyphen hyphen. We have no relationship right now. That's what's going on. The hyphen hyphen, they, they keep repeating like names over and over again. The hyphen hyphen, we have no relationship. We have no relationship. Sometimes I've heard it spoken without that name in front of it, identifying name. And then abandon hope, and it sounds like the sound is kind of despairing. Uh, that's from someone else. And... Uh, then I heard my yeasts who are happy because they recently got some sugar. They were befriending those other yeasts. That's as I understand it. Maybe just my yeast talking to each other. I don't know. Uh, saying, um, they're, uh, they're calling those other, maybe a different strain of yeast, maybe in a different person, they're calling them, V, the name is V, hyphen, 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 and then it ends with E-R. So it's like the same name with like E-R after it. And they're saying that name. Then they say, I will not do that salivation thing. I will not do that salivation thing. And I said, why are you saying that? And uh, they, they said, to help, him, to help him feel better. I have a little more information about the yeasts. I understand that they repeat things over and over again. And in this way, they uh, heighten the effect of the samskaras. So um, I also know... Uh, this is about diseases, human diseases. I also know that mm, because of the um, emphasis on cancer these days, the, the information about it and on uh, talk about it is everywhere. And so a lot of people have a fear of cancer or an anger about not it not being resolved. And uh, when they become angry at somebody else, say a significant other, the unconscious portion of them pops up with a samskara about may she get cancer or may he get cancer. Uh, it might be cancer of the uterus, cancer of the brain. It's something specific. And and the yeast, I feel, maybe the, the agents, the, the cause of picking up the samskara so that it repeats over and over again because repetition is what they do. And... Um, and so they, and that, that energy, that telepathy, that repetitive uh, samskaric effect settles onto the organ in question of the other person and, and uh, creates the disease, I feel. Uh, of course, um, there are a language of light um, healing techniques to remove that energy. That would be maybe it removed over and over again in a language of light or something of that may be completely healed. And so, so there are those cures available, and so there is also that etiology or cause as a, uh, as a proposal, all right, the yeast.